Hi, Dave with Align Therapy here. I'm here with Strat, one of our amazing scoliosis patients. Uh, he has a very specific type of scoliosis curve that I wanted to talk about. And I wanted to talk about how we address that because it's not, it's not easy to address his upper curve. So Strat, thanks for being here with us. There's three curves, so. There's three curves and he reminds me of this so I have to make sure I get them right. So he, Strat's curve up top goes to the left. <laughs> To, to the left up top here and then it goes to the right in the middle and then we have a lower curve that goes to the left but it's like only a few degrees it's only a few degrees this one's actually doing fantastic this one's the one we're working on the most this one up here to the left we have to we have to keep in mind quite a bit so in Schroth therapy this is called a demodifier because we modify the way that we do exercises because of it um, this is a thoracic curve here, and this is a lumbar curve going to the left. So all of these we have to keep in mind as we're doing Schroth corrections. So this curve here is really hard to brace. When scoliosis curves are being braced, they, so for this thoracic curve to the right, for example, they'll push in with the brace on the right side. For the lumbar curve, they'll push in on the left for the lumbar curve. They anchor on the pelvis, but how do you get to this curve? We can't really push into the shoulder. Yeah, the brace only goes to like this high. The brace only goes this high. Strat's in a nighttime brace, a Providence brace. It's better because I can do things better in the day. Definitely. Um, so we push in here and forward, but up here, we can't have any real purchase there because you have to be able to use your shoulder, and so we can't stick a pad that pushes into the side. So it's, it's a challenge to brace these types of curves. So a couple of things I want to show, if we look at this, uh, I'm going to draw a little bit. So if this is Strat's head, hopefully we can see that on the video, I'll make it a little darker. And then he has a curve that goes to the left up top, he has a curve to the right in the middle, a curve to the left down below, and then his pelvis sits a little bit off to the right side. So. With this curve, one of the big things that we do in Schroth corrections is shoulder traction. So if these are the shoulders and we're pushing out, we want to keep in mind that if we push too much with the left side, we start to get, get more of a curve, right? And if we push more with the right, it goes. Yes. So we want to push more with the right side to pull that curve more towards the midline. But we still want to pull some with the left. We still want to pull some with the left, just to keep the shoulders down and keep some traction. I should have him teach this video. He knows this well. So put your hands up on the, the bars there, Strat. Scoot forward a little bit. So if we look, we can't really see his curve very much. You can see that the left side is a little higher than the right side. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through not really a full Schroth correction position, but as he elongates his spine. So what I want you to do, Strat, is push out on this more. What we don't want to do. So we okay. see that shoulder raise and we see this move more to the left side. Yeah. So we don't want to do that as much. A little tension there, but we want most of the, the traction going out of the right side, which drops this shoulder a little bit and we get that pulling to the right side in that demodifier. Uh, it's still not perfectly straight, it's just better. Right, it's still not perfectly straight. In our other videos we talk about we can't fix scoliosis. We're trying to reduce Although the, everybody the curve. wishes you could fix it. Everyone wishes. Maybe one day. And then we stay tall with your head. So that's one thing. In the in the C's approach, the the Italian method for scoliosis, we do have some things that we can do for the, the demodifier or the upper thoracic curve where we can push down and in. Show me that there strap. Push down yeah. Like down in there. We're trying to to depress that and push it back towards midline. Wait, we're trying to depress, get my shoulder depressed. We're trying to get your shoulder depressed. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> um, but those are different methods. So the Schroth method we focus on not increasing it while we do more shoulder traction on the right side and the C's approach, we do have a way to correct for some of that curve, but they're different methods. Again, if you have scoliosis and you have an upper thoracic curve, Yours might be different than Strat's. Strat has one type of curve. You may have a different type of curve. It so will it, be different. It will be different. Everyone's is different. So don't do this at home. 
uh, if you have access to a Shroth or a, a Seize uh, therapist, I would recommend talking to them about this, having them help you with working on that upper thoracic curve. And one thing, if you are braced, pay attention to that uh, upper curve. Because if the brace is pushing, most likely a brace would be pushing up on the left side here to correct for this curve. And we don't want it to be sacrificing the upper thoracic curve. So all things to, to be aware of, but something that is kind of unique to Strat, and I'm glad he was here to help us. So if you have more questions, we're here to help you. And thanks, Strat. You're welcome.